Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of 30 Games in 30 Days here on Longmeister Gaming. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Origami 2 for the Xbox Series X. I actually own Origami 1, I believe on the Switch, though I have not played it. I'm really wanting to play a game that has got some stealth kills to it. I love that kind of sneaking around and dispatching enemies, and this game looks to have that in spades. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this content, and remember if you are, please leave a like for the video. It does help the channel out, and let's go ahead and get started. I was hoping the actual game would look like that. It does. That's awesome. Yeah, this looks really good. Got ourselves a jump. And kind of sort of... Oh, man, that's nice. And kind of sort of zip forward. Dash ability, I guess. Looks like we've got some kind of, like, concentration or something, you know? Cool. Moves. Man, it moves really well. Very responsive. Okay, we can do our double jump here. Crouch down. Go. Nice. Oh, shadow leap. Oh, wow, that's nice. I like that. That's gonna be fun. I'm just moving, zipping around here like uh, Laura Croft or Assassin's Creed or something, right? Sweet. Let's see what we got back here. I don't know if this game has got a bunch of collectibles and stuff to find or not. Marker is probably our current objective, I'm guessing. So it looks like it's going to be a game that puts those magical barriers in the way. Stealth. Left stick to crouch. I may skip over part of this tutorial. Uh, this video will unfortunately have to be a little bit shorter due to time constraints for me personally today. Uh, so I may have to end up cutting some of the tutorial portion out so I can show you a little bit more of the actual meat and potatoes of the game. Yeah, let's see where I want to get to. See if there's any goodies over here. I don't know if I'll be able to get like different weapons and like upgrade this character's skill sets or any of that stuff. We're gonna have to find out. Man, I wonder if I can jump all the way over there if I like jump, double jump, and then hit that 
like teleport move. Oh, I didn't even need to do it. It's a pretty good distance on the jump, actually. I I can... Okay, let's see. Here we go. Cool. Yeah, the character looks wicked, too. Go. Oh, man, I did not mean to do that. I'm glad those guys didn't see me. That would have sucked. I don't know if it automatically fails if you're seen or what the deal is. Of course, this is just the prologue here, so... Let's see. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. So, they call it the Shadow Vision, what I was calling Concentration. So we got two guards on the other side of this. And I don't know how responsive the AI is, you know, this just being on the normal difficulty. I, I really don't know how good it is. I'm trying to maneuver around and behind these guys, see if there's anything behind this building up here. I will say, he is fairly quiet when you're crouched down. Can't get up there on that? Huh. It's not giving me the, uh... Huh. Now, there we go. That was a little wonky there. can't tell. Let's see. I think that guy's, that guy's facing away from me. Let's see. Oh, man. That, I'll tell you, that is so awesome. Oh, is that a weapon? Let me see if this is a weapon. It looks like a weapon sticking up. Support items. To use support items, open the menu wheel. Okay. Vitality Potion. Okay. Yeah, because, I mean, the health is definitely... I've only got just a tiny little bit of health. So, we'll have to go ahead and use that here and tick the health back up. I've got three of them, at least. Oh, okay. Yeah, I might have to... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and use all three of them. That way I'm back up to full health. Assassination and Knockout. Okay, so we have the option to knock him out or assassinate. Well, let me tell you what. It isn't going to be a knockout, I can just tell you that much. Not if the Longmeister has anything to say about it. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I'm probably, I'm probably going to edit, I'm probably going to skip ahead. Uh, just get through some more of this prologue stuff here, get more into it. Okay, creating our own path now. I think I've got the majority of the prologue behind me. We'll see. This guy here. The guy at the gate is really the one I'm more concerned about. This other guy right in front of me just seems to be kind of sort of chilling. Not anymore. It's funny because it's like the body's concealed in the foliage, but there's blood everywhere. So, like, the guy, I guess doesn't see the blood. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's wild. Yeah, I like that. I got one more over to the right. I don't know what that... When I use the uh, shadow sensibility, there's like these gray, misty lights. I don't know if that's just standard lights the way they look in it, or what that's all about, or if it's more kind of sort of like an objective kind of thing for me. Hmm. That guy's angled over to the right. 
I don't know his field of vision, how far over he can see to the left over here. Let's see. Let him get towards his shadow. There we go. <laughs> oh, I like it. Yeah, I love the stealthiness of this. It's just so much fun. I mean, the, the game's not overly complex. I mean, you know, basically what you see is what you get here, I believe. But the mechanics of the way the uh, the character moves around and stuff. See, I don't know what that is. It's kind of sort of glowing there. But yeah, the movement is satisfying, and the stealth assassinations and stuff, oh my gosh, I'm really going to like this game. And the graphics look really good, I think. Oh my gosh, I don't know how... Wow, okay, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. Let's see if I can, there we go. Okay, so that was pretty, I don't know, I'm like giving praise to the game and then we have a guy who's like completely oblivious to, to this guy falling down on a fence beside him okay let's see here that guy is facing the other way I think we should be good for this take this guy out here quietly oh my gosh I can't let go I can't let go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I couldn't let go at that camera angle, I guess. Okay. Got that guy locked, but... Oh, look at... oh my gosh, look at this weapon. Oh, I can't pick it. I can't pick that up. Oh, that stinks. It would be so awesome to be able to pick that up. Here we go. There'll be no knockouts. Assuming it shows the guards, if they were upstairs, I could see them through the floor with this shadow sense stuff. Get in the tall grass here and wait. I got to the left. Yeah, he's patrolling back. It's typical old school where they have the predetermined uh, walking path. Um, and I'm okay with that. Let him go back on his little patrol path here. Again, don't mind the massive rivers of blood. <laughs> I mean, it splatters on everything. Oh my gosh, I chucked him. <laughs> chucked him over the thing. <laughs> I love it. That's great. Okay, so he's already in the grass. Ah, let's see here. There's like, I mean, other than those uh, potions, those vitality potions, I haven't picked anything else up at all. There's like no goodies. I need goodies. Let's see if I can, if there's anything on this table. Let's see what this is over here. Nothing. Okay. Okay, we got this guy here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm gonna let that other guard turn around. Okay. Should be safe. Yeah, I love the assassinations. I mean, it does look like the assassination animation is the same almost every time. Uh, and again, it's it's okay. I mean, for what the game is, uh, it's a lot of fun. 
I'm not sure the, the original retail on this, it's been so long ago since I got this, it was like last year, but I don't think, I can't remember if I paid for it or if I even got it originally, maybe even on Game Pass when I picked it up. Uh, the first game uh, for the Switch, again, I've not played it, but I think I picked that up really cheap. I think it was like $10 or something. But again, that's what this playlist is all about. Getting these games out of my back catalog and giving them a go. And uh, this game is fun. I mean, it's one I'm going to want to spend more time with, just like so many other ones. Well, honestly, just almost every single one I've played in this series so far has just been an absolute blast. And there's just been some huge new personal favorites for me, especially like near Automata or Automata or whatever and um, Unbound was awesome Hades was awesome I mean the list of awesome just keeps rolling and the very first game I did in the series actually was just phenomenal the t was it Tian Ding or however you pronounce that I mean that game was really cool but this is yet another one. I mean, this this one I feel is a little bit more simplistic than the majority of the titles I've played in the series so far. But it is, the stealth is super satisfying. Keep on going up the hill here and see where we're going to go. said that to me before but I just like kind of sort of being methodical about this and taking my time oh here we go we're gonna have something big here uh, it just has the feel of like a, maybe a boss at least my health is up I don't have any potions left though oh boy Oh my gosh. That didn't end well. Soldier 2. <laughs> oh my gosh. I... Uh-oh. Oh, that ain't no Soldier 1 or Soldier 2. He didn't even give me a chance to do anything. Okay, well, I'm dead. Game over. 
See you guys later. Now that Soldier 1, Soldier 2 nonsense, it's like Jabroni number 1 and Jabroni number 2. Oh my gosh, that's wild. I just assume they don't even uh, even give the people names if, the, if they're going to put that kind of effort into it. <laughs> Soldier 1 and 2. So I don't know, I come out of a portal here. Tara <laughs> So they're all cursed, and everybody in this village is the same. As far as they've all been brought back, I guess, from whatever this curse is. Well, at least, at least they're explaining things. <laughs> we have arrived at the house in the village. <laughs> It's not just any house, it's the house. Kind of sort of ready to get into past this prologue and see what see what's going on in this game here. I do appreciate it though that it's kind of sort of explaining things. So cure for the curse. That's gonna be the main driving factor, I guess. Hmm. You all. Okay, let's 
let's see here. So there is just really nothing to pick up. I mean, other than those vitality potions, I don't think I've picked anything else up. I just love doing that maneuver. Get a better view of some of this. This town looks really large. I don't know if there's a map. I haven't seen any kind of a map feature yet. Maybe we'll get it later in the game, or maybe there just isn't one. All the townspeople are like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> see what we got here. Okay, let's see what she's got to say. Huh. Check out our objective. Niji, Niji. <laughs> Rising. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Katashi, so we gotta go. Okay, I see. Oh. <laughs> it sounds like he's losing his mind. <laughs> Okay. No. Iwaoka. Warrior's Path, new locations, blueprints, mission board, get experience in gold. Okay, chronological order. Okay. The classic mode is available. Inspired by the first game. Okay. I think we're just going to play it the way we're playing it right now. I'm really enjoying the uh, gameplay of this. No need to change it up now. Easy, normal, or hard. Okay. Difficulty update is here. So it looks like, you know, they've added some different things to the game since launch. One thing about these games being in my back catalog for so long, most of the see here, Elder S Scroll... If only it said Skyrim. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, so the pinwheel is just... thats I, I just kept calling it a pinwheel there, but... its I guess it's just the portal. Where we exit in and out of an area. So I bet I can go, I bet I can go back to that and take it and it'll take me back to the town. That way it's kind of sort of like two-way travel between the areas. Okay. All I need to know is that there's some killing ahead. Oh, there's somebody. Let's see what it wants me to do down here. Eavesdrop on a conversation among enemies. their eavesdropping? I wonder what that is. There's something on a pedestal down there. <laughs> They're like, are you up there eavesdropping? And I'm like, I ain't dropping no eaves. 
I'm gonna like Samwise on uh, Lord of the Rings. Hmm. Let's see if I can. I want to see what's on that pedestal, like really bad. It seems awful risky taking these guys out so close together. I wonder if I can do like, ooh, I wonder if you can un unlock the skill to like do double assassinations or triple assassinations or something. I don't know what this is. Woo. Okay, just about got discovered there. I don't know if I can pick that up or not. Let this guy go by. Where is he? There he is. I should have used my shadow sense, but... Okay. Here we go. I'm going to wait for him to patrol back to the right, right there. See if I can slip out here and see if it presents me with any way to pick this up. Mm, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, here we go. i got to get out of here. Go, 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 go! Yeah, there we go. Got this guy to the right. Man, the movement is just so fluid. It's really well done, the animation. And I just love doing the uh, stealth play. I mean, you could probably go in, I don't know, I'd say guns blazing, but it'd be more like swords blazing. I guess I could play like that, but I just, I've been craving some good, just good stealth. And that Mark of the Ninja remastered, you know, scratched that as well, but, uh, you know, it, uh, was definitely more difficult than this. But also a phenomenal game. That that Mark of the Ninja Remastered, again, that's just another one I've played in this series that, wow, it just, I'm definitely going to want to look at it and get, maybe I can, like, throw him over the thing. But yeah, it's just another game in this series that I'm going to definitely want to uh, continue playing. Guys will have to let me know once we get towards the end of this, maybe even in the last episode, or just whenever you want. Leave a comment down below the video and let me know what your favorite game in the series has been so far. Uh, or even at the very end, just which, which of the 30 games was your favorite to see. Or perhaps maybe I've turned you on to a game that you had never heard of or had never thought to play until you saw my video. That would be awesome. That would that would just make me feel like really good to, to know that I've turned you on to a game that you didn't know anything about or what have you and now you want to play it. That, that would be so awesome. Let's see if I can get this thing here. So I guess there's... There's nothing. I can't slice it. I don't. I don't understand that. I don't know what that is. Cause it does glow when you use your shadow sense. I got just about saw me. Go here behind him. No, oh, it's gonna be awesome if I can like finish this whole area and not like get discovered. I know it was close. The one guy was like, "What was that?" But I don't think that counted as being discovered. Get this right here. Get these coins, okay? And I guess there'll be a shop in the town. I'll be able to, like, hopefully buy more potions and stuff, because I still I don't have anything. Literally, it's just me and my sword. There's my item I need to get in there, I bet you money. The Shadow Technique Scroll. Let's see if I can get over here, go around and go back to the right over there. That's going to be my game plan. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in through the back of that or not, but we'll see. 
looks solid from here. That angle, but we'll see. Go, go. Oh my gosh, sometimes I stick for just a second. Okay. Nope. I'm gonna have to go around through the side. Oh, there's some goodies over there in the corner. At least I got some stuff to pick up now. Even if it is just gold, I mean, at least it's your coin, I guess. Uh, at least it's something. Okay. Let's see about. Hmm. Probably gonna go see what this is over in the, to the right first. It's, oh, it's like, I think it's more coins. Okay, so it's just a larger pile of coins. Okay. I get that one patrolling towards me. Let's see which way he faces. I think as soon as he. There we go. Oh, that was wild. You can just literally, like, shadow right through it. Got it? Get out of here. Okay. I mean, I could get the little bags of coins, but it says it wants me to escape, and I haven't been detected yet, so I'd like to try to kind of sort of keep that alive. As long as you keep going, oh, wait a minute. Which way does it? It looks like the objective is down back over from the way I came, unless it's just wanting me to. I bet it wants me to just get back to the portal that I originally came out of. I gotta go back to the left just a little bit. There we go. I'm just gonna keep. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep zipping at this point. Now this back here, unless the enemies um, respawn or patrol into a new area, which I have not seen them do yet, they seem on a very small predetermined path, this should be fairly clear going down this way. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of anything down here now. I think there was only one guard down this way anyways on this one right hand side over here. Or well, no. No, there were more than that. Never mind. Alright. Here we go. Oh, mission complete. Oh, I've got an S. Superior rank ghost. Never detected. So there are three other awards you can get. Okay. Level one. I've got a point available at least. him. I'd really like to play this more and have this episode be longer to show you guys more, but again, unfortunately, I'm pressed for time today, and let's see here. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, come with me inside, he says. Okay, I got a sneaky feeling that this is probably going to be additional training. Let me go check out this board over here. But what I started to say was, I really wish I could spend some more time on this. But I'm short on time for this one, unfortunately. And to get to pump these 30 games in 30 days out with my work schedule is, is been very challenging. So, let me see here. I already did, So, I guess you can replay it? Let's see, I can't... Well, let me select that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, you see like seven or eight different things on the map there real quick. But, let's see. So I guess you can just maybe replay the missions over and over. Uh, and get additional XP. But I think that that is probably going to just about do it for this episode. Um, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to continue to watch my videos. It does mean a lot to me. And I uh, appreciate you guys. And again, this was 30 games in 30 days. 
Origami 2 for the Xbox Series X. Till the next one, guys. Longmeister out. Peace.